Well, I do remember I was extremely surprised because I thought I had failed the interview. So, at my interview, I had Lowell Wood, who is one of the well-known and revered and feared second round Hertz interviewers. And during the interview, he asked me a question about physics involving a figure skater going around a pole on an ice patch. And at, I stumbled for a bit answering this one. And we talked about this for some time. And in the end, Lowell said, OK, we've had enough discussion. Let's move on. He said, if you have any other ideas, you can come back at the end of the interview. I was not satisfied that it wasn't, it wasn't settled. So after the interview, I continued walking around the building at which we had the discussion. And an hour later, I knocked on the door and said, I think I have an answer. I told him, and he said, no, not quite. I thought it was some technicality about the problem. He said, come back again if you have another idea. I came back after another hour, knocked on the door again, and said, now I think I figured it out. But again, it was off. At that point, he said, if you have any more ideas, just send me an email. <laughs> so I continued thinking about it until midnight that night. And then I finally solved it. So I sent him a long email with the solution, which was at that point correct. He didn't reply to the email. In fact, the next reply I got was just that I had received the fellowship. But basically, I was completely shocked to find out that I had received the fellowship. Although in retrospect, I'm a bit less shocked because now I understand that the Hertz Foundation seeks perseverance as well. And without knowing it, that's in some sense what I had demonstrated. I feel that the other thing that is shared, which I credit the Hertz Foundation for, is the passion. So I think the reason that they gain so much by interviewing is that the difference between a, a visual observation of a person and a visual observation of the paper application that the person provides to you is vastly different. You can only gauge passion by seeing a person in person. And so although there's, this, there's certainly this unifying factor that all of us have fought through this interview, but I think there's another unifying factor, which is that Hertz has selected people who are extremely passionate about what they do. And I actually think that's what gives a huge value to the candidates that they end up selecting.